Welcome everybody to the Ultimate Calf Season 2 alongside Boreas Sokolov and Rick Valentino. I'm Miles Rothfarb. Here we go. Alright, first fight is Jason Marillo versus Lucas Rigo. See, we got Jackson Marillo here. He's probably one of the favorites to win this whole thing, honestly. Yeah, he, he's a real he's been high on level like striker. A, he's been, my bad for cutting you off, like, he's been on a two fight win streak so far, right? I believe so. He's a. Uh, He's fought some good guys, too. He's fought high-level competition outside of the CFC, so I'm looking forward to seeing what he does. Oh, Just, he gets dropped there by a leg kick. He's Jeez, throwing that duck in roundhouse. Oh, and a, and a head kick connects. Back Spinning back kick out of range by Rigo. Mm -hmm. Uppercut to an overhand there. Oh, shit! Damn. And he's rocked. Jason is rocked. He's in the clinch, raining down knees on Jason. Jackson Marillo is still fighting back hard. No, oh, it's Jackson. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Throwing hooks. Jab cross hook oh, lands by down. Jackson. Rigo. Drops Rigo. Rigo goes down. Both fighters back and forth distance. action early. Those, those oh kicks fuck! Oh, Marillo goes down. Rigo, Rigo trying to finish. And we have the winner here, Lucas Rigo. Lucas stops. Rigo. Lucas Rigo stops Jackson early round one via spinning what via an spinning upset kick early on. Yeah. Yeah, I think the problem with that one was uh, Jackson was a little bit repetitive in, in his, his combinations. Yeah. When you, when you do that, it, it gets it gets red over time. Yeah, look at that. Look at that spin kick, though. He was throwing a duck in roundhouse, yeah. and boom, it just landed so perfectly. Both fighters kind of throwing caution to the wind there, just going guns blazing. You knew this one wasn't going the distance, and Rigo was able to get him out of there early in round one. Mm-hmm. I think that may be the most head kicks I've seen from two fighters in a first round in a while. It's got to be up there. But what a fantastic win for Lucas Rigo there. <clears throat> Moving on to round two. We have Dante Chico versus Big Rowan. <laughs> Yeah, Rowan mm -hmm. Wright, a member of the newly founded CFC Mafioso. Uh, yeah. We've all Northern Ireland. representing Northern Ireland is right. Uh, we both spar with Rowan extensively. Uh, what are some things you guys expect to see from him here? I uh, expect to see a lot of those I'm, spin kicks. Yeah, I'm expecting a lot of spin kicks, a few flying knees. Dante goes Ooh. for a takedown, but phenomenal. Those ankle picks are really hard to get down and block, so that's a good job by Rowan Wright. Yeah. That, that front kick is one thing he has to watch out for. Sure. And a takedown by Dante. There it is. His back is up against the cage, so he might be able to get up here. Oh, and he slides right out. <laughs> and, uh, in the words of Derek Lewis, just, just stand yeah. up. <laughs> <laughs> That There's that close. spin kick we talked about earlier. Yeah, that was yeah, COA would have got his hands up there. Ooh, we, that's one we forgot about is the spinning back fist. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of shots, a lot of big shots by both these uh, fighters are missing, so they gotta be, they gotta watch out for that. That really lowers the stamina. Yeah, it seems like with their boxing, both guys are able to find the range for winning. They're uh, in kicking range, it seems like there's a little bit of struggle. And right there, we saw Rowan Wright try to time the flying knee, but it, was, it got intercepted by that takedown. Good time by uh, by Castillo, though. I'd say right now, as of halfway through the first round, it's pretty equally contested. It's like, when it's on the feet, it's it's going Rowan's way for the most part, but the, uh, Castillo can get him down at any time. 
Good job able to get back up to his feet there for right. Uh, Castillo hanging in there on the feet though. Oh, Castillo, and Castillo gets dropped by the left kick. Yeah, a lot of axe kicks and spin kicks. Oh, and another takedown. Another takedown, nice turn and takedown right into half guard. Good job by Rowan to deny and get to the back side. Both hooks got in. Mounted. Flips. Arm bar attempt by right. And this could be big. Looks like looks like an easy escape what? as of right now. Oh, it's, it's... Yeah, right. Kind of struggling to get his timing down and figure out the patterns of Castillo here. Kind of overcommitting on on the uh, denial there. Easy escape for Castillo, and he'll end the round on top. Yeah, Castillo needs to watch out uh, when he's doing that ground and pound because Rowan is dodging a lot of his stuff, which is um, exhausting Castillo. You know, that really takes a toll on the stamina as, like, time goes yeah. by. Yeah, this is a uh, this is one of those rounds back and forth that, you know, I'm glad to be here in the commentary booth and not on the judges' table because that one was a really tough one to score. Yeah. Here you go, round two. Fantastic pace to this fight so far. Both men looking fresh, looking to keep up this high pace. Spinning elbow, I'm sorry. Overhand, nice overhand. Yeah, last round it looked one-sided when it was on the feet. As of right now, it's, it's looking pretty equal. Yeah, I, I'd agree with that statement. I think that Rowan Wright kind of had his way on the feet while, uh, while Castillo was able to ground him at ease and kind of control the pace on the ground. I, I think Castillo is getting a bit used to uh, what's going on in this one. Yeah, a way, a way, uh, way more of a higher pace going on here in the second round. Oh, and a big oh, shot lands. Land. Bro needs to watch Rowan that stamina. Right, be careful here not to overcommit. Oh, great takedown defense by Wright with low stamina. Go for the ankle pick, and he's able to deny that one as well. Good job by Martin. Nice Rowan Wright or or Martin, he loves to change his name up every once in a while. The I Northern Irish government must get tired of him always changing his name. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and a big flying knee. Big Ooh. flying knee lands. Oh, he's yeah, he's getting there. I don't know how Chico stay on his feet. Rowan struggling to find that finishing blow to put the fight away. Oh, there's another fight. Oh. That lands. Down goes Castillo. Oh, and he butterfly, he butterfly swoops him. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Big shots landing now for Castillo. Rowan's reversing a little bit here. If I'm Castillo, I kind of I'm thinking I want to control the fight on the ground and kind of try to score some points down here. Because right now he's getting picked apart on the feet, getting a lot of big shots landed. On him. Yeah. One one thing I've learned about Chico this fight is he, he definitely knows how to survive, that's for sure. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lesser man would have been long gone from these heavy shots that Rowan has landed so far. Oh and he rocks in the him. head. Oh wow. These guys just trading kicks. A big spinning elbow. Oh, a big spinning elbow for right. Oh, if he can get him. Down, oh shit! Down. Oh, speed back kick lands. He's going for the finish, and he got, got it. Finish. And that's over. And the fight is over late in the second round. Rowan moving on to round two. Fantastic performance. What a fight by both men. Congratulations to Rowan moving on to the second round. But all respect and. Uh, Congratulations to uh, Dante Castillo for putting on an absolutely great performance. It's unfortunate one of these men had to go home without the victory today, but yeah, Rowan proved to be the better fighter at the end of the day and yeah, deserves I, to be I, where he is in round two. I'm honestly surprised uh, either of them lasted that long. Because that was, that was back and forth and it was intense the entire time. And here's a brief buffer for the official decision.
match we have uh, Hart versus Raheem Anderson. Raheem Anderson, another guy that has been around CFC for a while and another guy that has high expectations in this tournament. Big spin and back kick there. But, uh, you know, one of, one of the big favorites already went down in the first fight of the night tonight, so anything can happen clearly in this tournament. Yeah. And Anderson has nice combinations. Yeah, both, both these fighters are just going at it. No feeling out passes. Just, just the hair of the middle bit to this one. That's all right, actually. Yeah. Oh, and Roll a rock. Attacks. Oh. Raheem Anderson kind of pushing him back with that kick there. And I don't know if that was the best idea. If he should have kept the pace on with his clean boxing and try to get a finish, but. Uh, Especially from the fights we've seen so far today, it's you don't really want to miss your opportunities to finish fights because the other guy will come back and hurt you and potentially put you out right back. So anytime you get a chance to finish a fight, you really want to make sure you capitalize in this high stakes, high rewards tournament. Mm -hmm. yeah, one one thing I can see is that these guys are both uh, they're both pretty good at mixing it up so far. Body, head, back and forth. Wings back in with a big overhand though. Raheem, uh, Raheem Anderson, dude. Oh, oh nice big big take down. Very intuitive of Anderson there. I think he'll look to control position here and kind of wear on that body a little bit. and lets him up. Dude, these guys both got to watch their stamina if they expect it to go any further when it's been so far. But I don't know, the way these guys are fighting, I don't think they expect it to go so far. Yeah. Nice body lock trip to a takedown from Anderson. Controls the half guard and tries to pass in and out, but gets denied and uh, guard is recovered. Oh, and a nice butterfly uh, sweep. Yeah. On bar attempt. Oh, and denial. Nice denial by Anderson. H lets him back up. Big spinning back kick is blocked. Spinning heel kick, rather. <laughs> Round one is over. Both guys letting loose. Early in for, or throughout that first round, stamina is a bit lower than I'm sure both would hope. But a lot of shots landed for Anderson, who I'd probably give that first round to. Yeah, yeah I'm, I'm glad I'm not a judge because I wouldn't be able to have scored that one. Yeah. That was neck and neck from what I seen. And two. Spinning back kick to the body, well done. Doubles up on it there. He's going to the body a lot more this round. Seems like Anderson has kind of picked up on that te uh, tendency already, even though uh, still very early in this round and a recent adjustment made by H trying to go to the body, but Anderson looks to be trying to counter with those uppercuts. Yeah, he's got a good eye. He's catching it quick. Yeah, both these players are doing really good on the feet. Oh, uh, Anderson kind of got the kind of got the edge on the ground though. So Hart needs to watch out for his grappling. And as I say that, he gets taken down by a body lock. Yeah, I think Anderson's really evolved his game. And uh, when he gets flipped over. Oh wow! Nice denial and transition. For, uh, reverses the position and straight into now. Let's him up. Curious decision there. Oh, 
Fantastic back and forth action here. Almost midway through the second nice round. Hit. A lot of these shots are going to be Oh, and hard gets dropped. Oh, clean uppercut there. Knees to the body being blocked. All right, here's to be recovered. Yeah, that oh. knockdown along with that, along with that takedown, that's going to add up a lot when you score a card for this one. Oh, he's mixing it up nice. Nice oh, takedown. Take down. We'll see if Hart decides to hold position here or let him up again. Or maybe Anderson will try to reverse position, and he does. It's a half guard. Yeah, Hart really needs to watch out. And you know, we know Anderson has a wealth of experience in this game, as well as uh, his, his father, uh, who is a CFC Hall of Famer. You know, when you have that, you know, that type of influence in your uh, growing up and in your corner throughout your life, you're definitely going to have advantages that most guys don't have. So it's nice to be able to see uh, the evolution in his game and so far, you know, pulling ahead, I think, as we come to the conclusion of the second round. When he gets rolled yes. over again. That was Kamara trapped into half guard. Nice reversal. Oh, he's his face. Anderson landing big shots here. As the round concludes, I say, you know, I'm thinking Hart needs a finish here. Yeah, I, I definitely would have Anderson up on the scorecards right now, especially going into the third round like that. <laughs> nice that kick there by Hart. And a head kick that lands. Yeah, there were some clean, clean shots in that one. Anderson just wasn't going to do anything. Considering where both men were standing, oh, big spinning back kick. Anderson has him hurt. Parts of trouble. Hart is deep in trouble. He's not recovering well. He's, he's fighting back though. Yeah, considering where these two men were, yeah, considering where these two men were, standing wise before or as the first round was ending, they both seemed pretty fresh, all things considered. Um, yeah, Hart, Anderson Hart. looks to be the fresher fighter still. Yeah, Hart definitely has to watch his down. See that? Those, those body shots are adding up. Right? Oh, shit! Spinning back kick drops him. Neon Belly looking to finish here. And it's over! Raheem Anderson with a big run in round one. Third round TKO. Yeah, yeah, just, just as he thought he was going to the body, though, he went straight to the head and that pulled off the Madison does well in the QC. Look at that spin kick. Boom. Just drops. Fantastic technique there. Great finishing instinct to get uh, hard out of there. I, think he's games. Games. I hit I hit his father with a couple of those spin kicks when he went deep, but we won't talk about that too. <laughs> <laughs> And there you see Anderson overcome with emotion as he is moving on the round two. For our next matchup, we got Quaylen Walker versus Dallas Reed. This is like a classic striker and grappler match. As as we saw um, in Quaylen Walker's return to the CFC, he got a first round flying arm bar. On his opponent. Yeah, this Let's is see what he can do here. This is definitely a classic, classic matchup. I, uh, 
I think that Quayla Walker presents a unique challenge on the ground that even most grapplers who tend to uh, favor control and position over submission, I feel like Quayla Walker has kind of taken in a unique approach and really just gone for a submission heavy game and was willing to end up on his back at risking, uh, risking me, a submission attempt rather. I think this fight could also be explained as the battle of the hair. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've been practicing um with um Quaylen a lot on his stand up and his uh striking. He's he's he he he, he gives me a hard time. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, his, his, I've seen his striking, it definitely has evolved. Yeah. He's becoming a more all around fighter. Yeah. Like it's not like the fact that like he's like he is good, but like he's also really smart. Like he will read you. Now, uh, Bora, you you came up training under Quaylen Walker, and uh, we see where your career has taken off to. You know him probably better than anybody else does. So, with him fighting this bigger opponent, I mean, you see the size difference between him and Dallas Reed. What do you think he'll do, or needs to do, to uh, to deal with that size? What I'm, what I, what I think he's gonna do is he's just gonna take it easy and pick him apart as the rounds go by. But I, mean, I can't, I can't, I can't count Dallas out. He's, he's a really elite striker. Yeah, like da he, Dallas he even has also. Like when me and Dallas fought, like he stunned me even. Yeah, Dallas has also denied multiple takedowns already in this first round, as well as reversed the takedown. Yeah, right now Quaylen starting to fall behind a little bit in this first round, not being able to take him down like you said. Mm -hmm. Dallas Reed showing a lot of composure here, picking him apart with strikes. Yeah, I'm not sure if you guys caught it, but he, uh, Dallas Reed also denied a couple of clinch attempts. He definitely, he definitely knows what he's up against. Yeah, definitely seems well prepared. His camp seems to have gone really well. Uh, I mean, no other way to pull it. He's playing no games here. He is, he is here to fight. He is here to fuck shit up. Walker's mixing it up nice. That's oh, and it takes down by Quaylen. Quaylen finally able to land his first takedown. When he gets the full guard. Nice uh, reversal. You're never safe with uh, Quaylen Walker. Yeah, you his see there, he just went to... Uh, he just went to, uh, what is it, back, uh... Backside. Backside, yeah. It's a good round there. Damn. It's a tough one to score. But, uh, you see Quaylen Walker landing a couple shots here in these highlights. Nice head kick, one-two head kick. That you, as UFC 4 has progressed, you kind of see that fade out of the game a little bit, but he's able to execute there. Yeah, I, I think going into round two, Walker might want to strike more. I mean, we got he got that takedown going towards the end of the round, but he uh, definitely might want to might want to strike with him a little more because that's working out for him well. Quillen also does a good job of switching stances and giving different looks. Where does Dallas nice Reed is, stays strong in that southpaw stance? Oh, he's a southpaw now. I swore he was an orthodox. <laughs> mm -hmm. mm, yeah, nice, exactly nice what I predicted. He's he's stand back, looking for opportunity. Oh shit, he got hit by a big heel kick. And that's one thing that Dallas Reed has really been known for is throwing that oblique kick into a spinning wheel kick, and he lands it with great accuracy and great power. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, big head kick there. Yeah, Dallas Reed is looking really technically sound going into this fight. Yeah, as I said in the first round, just looks, just looks properly prepared. And it, I don't think that can be understated. I mean, you see a, oh, there he is, Rock, and Quaylen goes for the takedown, but it's denied. But as I was saying, preparation is so important in these fights, and you see a lot of guys that don't 
take the proper time to prepare for their opponents and uh, you don't see the, the best results but when preparation is there you see a lot of guys kind of break out and really show their entire so, uh, skill set and it looks like Dallas Reed is doing that tonight. Yeah, one, one thing about Reed is he's definitely going to have to watch his stamina though, that's, that's for sure. Yeah. He's, uh, he's oh, and playing. he's rocked again. Oh, he's rocked oh again. shit! And oh. down he goes. Quay Walker looking to finish. That'd be it. No. Nah. Oh, he's able to survive. He he's survived. Still, no. He's far from out of danger here with Quaylen in side control. I mean, now he he's has in to watch, He has to watch world. out for multiple submissions from right here as well. When he gets up. Runs in a couple knees against the fence. Quaylen breaks. And he takes Quaylen down. Nice very, take down. Very interesting choice by Reed. Denied trying to transition in the half guard or full mount. Now Quaylen gets Quaylen's up. back up. Take down denied. Nice pull back on that elbow. Nice body kick by Walker. And another takedown attempt by Reed. Denied off the ground go. ends. Now, throughout the round, I, I, I can't help but feel like Reed was landing more consistently, but the bigger moments just went to Quaylen with uh, a couple rocks and a knockdown there. Most definitely. Yeah, way, way to stay alive for Reed, though, for sure. Let's see, right now I have it 1-1. One, one. So, yeah, I'd agree. Yeah, I'd have to agree. I don't think that either fighter has done enough to really bank two rounds. Uh, surely it's got to come down to this one. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised if this one goes to a decision though. Mm -hmm. Yeah, both guys have no quit in them. Both guys are really hard to put away. Oh shit! Ooh. He's rocked. He's in trouble. Take down the nine. Well, Walker really letting his hands go here, really finding success. Just shows the evolution that we were talking about in the striking earlier. I think he's, I think he's noticing that stamina going down as well. Yeah, the second half of that second round, you really started to feel a momentum shift in favor of Walker. Uh, despite how good Dallas Reed has looked throughout the fight, I just can't help but feel like he's starting to fall a little bit behind here. And that stamina is just starting to go. Yeah, and there he is, Rocky again. Down. Takes a seat. Yeah, this is this is when Quaylen shines. Like third round, both y'all, like both, like you, Quaylen and his opponent are bloodied up, tired. Like this is really where he shines. Like he's the most dangerous yeah. here. And now that stamina is just creeping down further and further. And and that work that those body kicks that he's been landing all fight really paying dividends. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's mixing it up perfectly now. Reed could Reed could be in trouble any second. There is only two minutes to go though as well, but that is that is a lot of time. You just look at his body language. Oh, my God. oh there's a big head. Oh, oh! Quailing knocks out him. Dallas Reed. At the two wow. minute mark. Third round, Quaylen My boy Walker said with an all-time highlight. <laughs> that was a nasty over here. <laughs> oh shit! Yams, motherfucker, yams. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but seriously goodness. though, all jokes aside, Picture both person. both of these fighters did amazing tonight. Put on a hell of a show. Oh, it's it's. I mean, I've said it before in in the previous fight. Uh, but it's a shame that somebody had to go home uh, a loser, but Quaylen Walker just proved to be too much as the fight went on, and just a fantastic game plan, kind of falling behind in that first round, but really turning up the pace in the second and third and finding the late finish. Yeah, that, that fight is uh, by far the most exciting so far. But we got a Kim Ali versus Sean Baker. Kim Ali, smaller guy here, but 
fast and powerful. Don't let that frame fool you. Mm -hmm. Oh, finds himself on his back early. Yeah, I don't. I don't really know too much about either of these guys in their ground game. But oh, he's 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 doing the shots. Yeah, Akeem is uh. He tra he trains with Josh Koscheck. Yeah, that Josh Koscheck calf that Akeem Ali trains with really gets <laughs> him prepared for that ground game. Very stacked though, taking good. shots. Baker, good start to the fight. These guys both fighting very safely right now. Oh, he gets a and take takedown. Turning takedown in the side, uh, half guard. Uh, Lee Lamb has some shots now from on top as well. Baker recovers guard. I think this might end up being one of those fights. So, a ground dominant fight. Is look, it looks like it's going to shape up that way. Baker seemed to have the early advantage on the feet. I'm curious to see if he'd rather keep it there. Because right now he's just on his back taking shots. Yeah, in the, in the first seconds of the flight, he wasn't dead at all on the ground either. This is. These guys are, these guys are landing some shots. Oh, and, and Baker it. takes his back here, and can Ali is not able to roll in a full guard. Baker trying to rain down shots, but everything's getting blocked, and a nice roll into side control and oh, an inverted that, triangle that. attempt here. Oh, he's he's getting close. Um, it's, it's looking like an escape for Sean Baker. Ali lets it go Sean and Baker versus, Baker versus position. Is that a Von Flu attempt that we're seeing? I don't care what anybody says. They need to rename that choke. It's the OSG, OSP choke as far as I'm concerned. Oh, wait. No, we're not. Oh, no. Ali is the one attacking his submission here. Oh, and here the round ends. Here are the stats. It looked like it might have been a a Darce choke attempt by Ali at the end of the round. Yeah, that was probably what it was. Yeah, it looked like Baker was trying to apply some shoulder pressure uh, from side from side control there, but I was wrong. Round two is undergo with a touch of gloves. Ali in the Croatian shorts, Baker in the black UFC shorts. Both guys going to the body. Baker misses the second, the back end of that combo to the body, and Ali shoots for a takedown. It doesn't look like he's going to get it here. Right. This is this is looking all right. This is looking like a good fight as well. Pretty Some high level grappling on both ends here. Good striking. Some well rounded oh, fighters. Wow. It's a very very well uh, good very good matchup. Well put together. Yeah, it's 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 been equal on both sides. The ground and the stand up. This is I don't I don't I'm not sure how I would even score this one so far. Because you see, you see submission right attempts, you see takedown attempts from both sides, and uh, just uh, escaped from both sides as well. Denied from yeah, both was, sides. Yeah, just both fighters showing complete MMA games here. Uh, a high-level matchup that seems like it deserved to almost happen down the line further on in the tournament, Ooh. not in the first round.
Baker Baker has to watch out for Ali striking. He just hit him with a nice uppercut and then a hook right after. Yeah, Ali's showing good combos both to the body and to the head. Nice body lock takedown for Baker there. No. Some technical difficulties here in the commentary booth. Baker flattens out Ali here. Raining down shots. And Ali gets the Kimura. Oh, at least searching for submissions from everywhere here off his back. Mm -hmm. Baker looking real patient, trying to make sure that he doesn't make any rash decisions. Trying to oh here switches to an Oma Plata here. And he gets but he gets out, wow. rolls through it, ends up inside control. Just good patience, good mat awareness there, of understanding what Ali was trying to do and. Ali denies a posture up attempt into neon belly, and Baker finds himself on top inside control, raining down shots. When he gets reversed again, reversal. Ten seconds to go. Reversal left and right here in this fight. Both guys just truly know like what they're doing, and there's another one. I think uh, I think Ali stats. might have taken that round in my in my opinion. I agree. I'd give that one to uh, Akeem Ali. Fantastic fight back and forth so far. Just two high-level fighters that will definitely make a splash through this tournament and uh, on in their CFC careers for sure. You can tell these guys, you know, this this ultimate fight, uh, the ultimate calf is not a tournament just for you know guys that are going to hang around in the bottom of the card. Like we, this is this show and this tournament was built to breed champions and future champions and. These guys both look like they're going Ooh, to be at the highest rocked. level. And there's Baker's rocked. Kima Lee looking good to start off round three. He's rocked again. Yeah, Baker recovers quick, though. Kima Lee with a power slam into side control. Yeah, you can tell this is where uh, Ali has wanted to take the fight the entire time. Yeah. It's been very evident that Ali feels like he has a uh, an advantage there. So, yeah, that that may end up being a problem for him as well. Though he might want to go back to striking as that was working because he uh, he has had many denied submissions so far. Oh, what? Keep going Here's for an armbar attempt for Ali. This one's looking a bit tight. Akeem Ali trying to fall back into the finishing position here. There he is. Right now Can he's he in the spider web position trying to break the lock. Denied. When it could be over. That's tight. And it's Falls over. It. Sean oh, Baker tap. taps there's out. Tap. Akeem Ali with a fantastic uh, performance. Good job to finish the fight there. Yeah, he submits him seconds after I spoke on the denied submission attempts. Hmm. That's nice. That was a nice one. Great job. Well earned victory for Akeem Ali. Moving on to round two. Fantastic this was actually the last fight on man. uh this was actually the last fight on this on this uh tuck. So thank you all for watching. Much appreciated. And Round two coming soon. Looking forward to seeing the matchups. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right, so well, we're out of here. Oh uh, no, nah, yeah, we gotta watch through this real quick. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, here's oh, Bruce. Fo here's here. Bruce Buffer yeah, for the official. <laughs> These fuckers so the did it in the wrong right. arena. <laughs> you just noticed that? <laughs> yeah. All right. It was probably fucking uh, Akeem that fucked it up. And here's your winner, Akeem Ali. Put it past him. All right, thank you all for watching. Y'all have.
good day. Please subscribe, like, turn on notifications. And Take it easy, boys. With, <clears throat> keep up with the CFC for round two matchups coming soon.